clearly is a very emotional issue for those of you who require it for medical purposes. It, it is emotional, and those of us who have to make public policy decisions have to weigh many, many, many layers. I do think many of us do wonder, is there a third option? I think some of you, and I, we've heard from Mr. Rosendine, um, you do believe that there is a third way, so that it is not black or white. And perhaps one very, very purposeful task that you might assign yourself through this association is, is make a recommendation of what that might be for us to consider, and that could be part of our deliberation process. What could that third way be that doesn't fly in the face of Prop 215 or any other laws? And if you would like to assist us with that, certainly I would be interested. I do know others have the same question. This is not an uncompassionate city. We do not feel dispassionately about this issue. Many of you require this to sustain your health, absolutely, and, and really to sustain your well-being. And so the greed of a few should certainly not, not destroy these opportunities for the many that do need it. We're fully aware of that. And I want to assure you that that is yes. very much a part of our deliberation. Everyone that has provided testimony and compassion to the elected body that you see before you today. And I'd like to go ahead and call the Council Member Garcia. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Well said. Very well said. Um, just want to say a few things. I think, first, uh, it's important that all of you came down and lowered your voice and, and really your, uh, your face to what is an extremely complex but really important issue, not just uh, for Long Beach, but certainly for the state of California and certainly uh, at the federal level. And we've spent uh, a considerable amount of time deliberating and having discussions about this issue. And I think that the reason you've seen so much investment made by a lot of us is because we realize it's an extremely critical and important issue. And we're, we're dealing with many layers. I mean, we're certainly dealing with a uh, federal government that believes uh, in a certain way, uh, a, a state that has passed, uh, obviously, uh, people-mandated laws, and certainly our own advice and uh, recommendations that we're, that we're receiving from our own attorneys here at the city. So we have to take into consideration all those layers as we, as we try to do the best that we can to, to craft these laws. You know, I've said this before, and I, I strongly believe is that you know, the medical cannabis should be you should be able to purchase medical cannabis if you're a patient at your local pharmacy. That's really, I mean, you should be able to go walk into a CVS, you should be able to walk into a Rite Aid, and if you have a prescription, you should be able to purchase it if you have an ailment that needs it. And I think that it's unfortunate that we've received so little uh, clarity from the federal government on how to manage what is an extremely difficult issue. While I think there are collectives that are trying to be responsible neighbors, there are some, and I think you guys should recognize, and I think some of you do, that are not being good neighbors. And I think it's unfortunate that they um, also cause issues for what is a difficult discussion for all of us uh, to have. If there is an additional way, then I think it's important that we have those discussions, that when those recommendations are made, and that we have a healthy debate about them here. I do believe also that Long Beach is a compassionate city. And it's a city that should welcome and support everybody. And so uh, we're going to try our best, but it is, it's, it's a difficult decision, but I think we're trying our best with it. So thank you for coming down. I, I want to concur with my colleagues. You know, this is a very, very complicated issue. And I think you can take solace in, in, in knowing that uh, the past decision that the council made uh, showed the compassion that this council has. So. Uh, we don't want you to be discouraged. I, I want to commend all of you for coming down and lending your voice to this issue and, and, and putting a human face and, and a side to an issue that is demonized in, in the public. There are, there are folks on this council that do understand the issue, uh, again, being as complex as it is, and we just want to make sure that we make the right, the right decision for all the residents of the city. So just bear with us. You know, I think I've never heard of such a compassionate uh, testimony by the young lady here and uh, Mr. Carl Kent. I don't think every one of you came down here just to be coming here and putting on a little service act. I know how important this is to you. you know, a lot of the individuals who are sitting out there are very in need of what they have to have. When we talk about medical marijuana, we're talking about a use that has to be used by individuals to keep them going. 
especially we talk about vets, individuals with both for our country. You know, I, I know Long Beach is, uh, we, we're going to be believing a whole lot of things. But this, I'm pretty sure that we will get behind you. And that, you know, as long as you put the right thing, we're going to be right behind you. So you guys keep up the faith with this. You will